them to fly. And they just fly like this. How do you fix them to the mill? They're alive? Yes, they're alive. Yeah. Um, the way of uh, sticking them to this is they're attached by an insect pin. So first I have to freeze them to calm them down enough so that I can actually pin them. Um, then I remove the scales on um, their thorax. And I use hot glue on the tip of the ball point of the insect pin, and I attach it to the thorax. And then uh, this is hypodermic needle here, and I just stick the pin inside of that. And then it's uh, the rotation is done by magnetic levitation, and uh, the white barrier here is Teflon, which reduces the friction. And then. Um, as you can see, these little tiny magnets on the side that are attached to two more insect pins go across this sensor, and that's how it's counted. And how, how long do they survive? Uh, well, they can survive up to about 24 to 30 days, depending on you conditions. But when they're on the flight mills, I'm only running them for a certain amount of time. During my reproductive... Um, study, I flew them 6,200 feet, that was it, and then you take them off and I let them um, mate and stuff. With the pesticides, um, we ran them, I believe, 